In today's video, you are going to learn how to analyze the volumes of the futures OI data. Remember, I am talking only about futures, not options. I want to stress this again because I haven't started on options yet. Okay. Now, when you analyze the end of day data, the, the volumes at the end of day in the futures market, you in a trending market, in a trending market, these stocks will help you for help you go swing trade. You know, uh, for example, the, there were there were stocks like uh, Max Financial, which we picked up at 410. Then there was Berger Paint, which we picked up at 280. You know, these stocks went on to move up very fast. So this is since this is a very choppy market, the you should try and get out of the trade within a day or two at the most. So I'm going to show you how this is done. And uh, for, for starters, you have to analyze both the futures open interest data and the cash delivery volumes, right? If you get a bullish trend, you can buy in spot. If you get a bearish trend, you can buy peas or short the futures. But you know, this is a, these are risky. So since 75% of us are bulls, you know, so let's say we want to buy. Okay. And one thing you must note that being a choppy market that if you, if you identify a good stock, it can even fall and then later on go up. For example, I just spoke to you about max financials. We spotted it around 415, 417. It crashed to 4394. Now it's, it went up to 530, I guess. So you have to keep a deeper stop loss for these items. Uh, and it all depends on your risk return policy. Okay. I'm going to show you how to do the volume analysis and I'm going to do, show you how to do the charts. So let's begin. Okay. The first thing is that you have to, you have to go to this link, this money control link, because that reports the volume, you know, don't go to the NSC because there's no volumes there. I'll, I'll paste this link in the comments section. Look for stocks that have jumped, uh, the, where the volume has jumped more than 180 to 200%. Okay. Um, in a bullish market, in a trend market, you can look at stocks where the uh, volumes have jumped 120, 130%, but this is a choppy market, so 180 to 200%. So I got one, you know, I got Concord on uh, Friday, you know, it jumped up 2.66% and the open interest changed 1.10%. And... Uh, the volume was two volume was 221.74 percent over the previous day so let us work on concord now this looks bullish on open interest let's figure out what has happened to the deliveries okay now 75024 uh, contracts over here this is the change 75024 contracts were added to the outstanding position right so previous day oh I, this i just subtracted 75 from this uh, from this 68 69 i got 6794 add add oi we got the this so 75024 contracts were added to the open interest outstanding which means these are the, nothing but the outstanding positions if you if you have understood what the concept of open interest is right so now we will figure out what was happening in the to concord in the cash market Okay, now the first thing is I have checked the historical data of volumes. I took the last seven days of Concord Container Corporation and I found that, you know, uh, every day we were doing 12 lakh, 11 lakh, 7 lakh shares and suddenly on Friday we did 22 lakh shares. Okay, so volume traded 22 lakh, 11,875. Nice, more than 100% jump over the previous day, right? So after this, I went to the delivery percentage, you know, the delivery percentage was 39. It's here in the slides, but I can't scroll down. It's not showing, uh, but you can see it on the NSE side. It was 39.79% was a delivery percentage. So 39.79 into 22,11,875 is around 8,80,000 shares were taken home in the cash market. Okay, now let's see, let's go back to the futures. In futures, 75,024 lots were taken home. 1,563 shares per lot. That means 11.7 crore shares were taken home. 
in the futures market. That's why the futures is so potent over the cash. Where the cash you have only taken 8 lakh 80 thousand shares. Okay, so total 11.7 plus 8.8, 11.8 crore shares were added to the outstanding in both cash and futures with solid jump in volumes. This is this to me is bullish and therefore this is something you must watch. Next, all I did was I went to the charts of uh, uh, Concord and I took the 15 minute graph. I plotted the Fibonacci lowest to highest level over here and I get the feeling that if it goes above 580, 581 tomorrow, it can be a bullish, you know, it can be, it can be played for say around uh, 5 bucks, 10 bucks. Be quick because tomorrow's trend is unknown. <clears throat> it may or may not appreciate, you know, these are, these, these signals are per day. But it does look that there's a BPCL roadshow on and if it gets a good price, maybe the, the Concord is next on the line. So this can move. So this is how you do it. And uh, that's all from me for uh, this. If you have any questions, drop in a line and uh, I'll see you in the next video where we'll start on options. Thanks for watching and goodbye.